Hello everyone and welcome back. In this session, we are going to understand the concept of overflow. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today we will at first acquire the understanding of overflow. Thereafter, we will learn how to recognize overflow. Now, overflow is a condition which indicates that some operations have been performed on some data and afterwards the computer is unable to accommodate the result in the predefined storage space which was specified for it. Let me illustrate. Now, we already know with 4 bits in 2's complement form, if we place 1 in the MSB's place and in the remaining places, if we keep on placing zeros, we end up acquiring the value minus 8. Basically, this is the pattern using which in 2's complement representation, we can represent the magnitude minus 8. Now, think about a situation. Suppose we would like to add 2 negative 8's. Now, in this addition, these 3 places will remain zeros. Now, 1 plus 1 is actually 1 0, right? Observe, these 2 negative 8's can be easily stored in 4-bit spaces, but that's not the case for negative 16. Negative 16 is actually requiring 5 bits, isn't it? So in that case, the computer won't be able to store this value in a 4-bit register. Therefore, this value that is this carry will indicate the overflow. Let's now observe how overflow is determined in case of unsigned numbers. Now in case of unsigned numbers, the carry indicates the overflow. Let's find out whether this statement is correct or not. Now for this particular instance, we are using 4-bit unsigned numbers. Let's choose one that is 11. Now the pattern for 11 is 1011 and let's take another number, say 7. And the pattern for that is 0, 0, 1. Now let's perform the addition of 1011 and 0, 0, 1, basically 11 and 7. So 1 plus 1 will give us 0 and the carry as 1. Now 1 plus 1 is 10 0, and 10 0 plus 1 is actually 1, 1, right? So we will have 1 as sum and 1 as carry. Now 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1 0, so we will again have 0 as sum and 1 as carry. Now finally 1 plus 1 is 1 0 and 1 0 plus 0 is 1 0 again, so we will end up having the value 1 0. Observe, 11 and 7 were easily be accommodated in 4-bit spaces, right? But when it comes to the storage of 18, that is 11 plus 7, it is actually going to take 5 bits. Therefore, here the carry is actually the indication of overflow. Now in case of unsigned numbers, the carry can indicate the overflow because they are unsigned. But that's not the case for all the different representations. Specifically not for overflow in signed numbers. Now in the previous session, we already have established among all the signed number representations, the two's complement representation is the most popular one. Let's now observe how overflow is detected in case of 2's complement representations. Now in case of 2's complement for a given storage space, we know the range of values that we can represent is minus 2 raised to the power n minus 1 to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 1. Correct? Observe, here we have only 4 bits, right? So in this case, the value of n will be 4, isn't it? So this will give us minus 2 raised to the power 3 or minus 2 cubed, which is actually minus 8. And this will give us 2 cubed minus 1, that is 7. So basically using 4 bits in 2's complement, we can represent the range of values from minus 8 till positive 7. Keeping this in mind, now we will observe the different scenarios in 2's complement representations. Basically what we will do, we will observe four different scenarios where we will perform some operations on the values from this range. Let's begin with the scenario number one. Say with four bits, we actually are going to store the value 1001. Observe, one is placed underneath minus eight and one, right? That is two raised to the power zero. So this will give us the value minus seven, that is minus eight plus one. Now let's take another value, 1101. Observe the positions of the 1's. 1's are placed underneath minus 8, 4 and 1. So, minus 8 plus 5, that is minus 3. Now, let's perform the addition. Now, 1 plus 1 will give us 1, 0, correct? So, 0 and 1 as carry. Now, 1 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 1 only. Then, 0 plus 1 will give us 1 again. 
and then again 1 plus 1 will give us 1 0. Now clearly the computer won't be able to store this in 4 bit space. Observe. If for 5 bit we think about the bit places in 2's complement form, these are going to be 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 squared, 2 cubed and MSB will have the place value minus 2 raised to the power 4. So observe, this is minus 16, this is 4 that is 2 squared, this is 2, so minus 16 plus 6, so it will give us minus 10 and that is the result of minus 7 plus minus 3, right? So, in this particular instance, the carry is determining the overflow. Let's now observe the scenario 2. Say again for 4 bits, we are going to select the pattern 0, 1. Notice the positions of the 1's. 1's are placed underneath 2 squared that is 4, 2 raised to the power 1 that is 2 and 2 raised to the power 0 that is 1. So, 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is positive 7. Let's take another pattern. Triple zero one. So, 1 is basically placed underneath 2 raised to the power 0, so it will clearly give us positive 1. Now, let's perform the addition now. So, 1 plus 1 will give us 1, 0, so 0 we will have a sum and 1 as carry. Then again, 1 plus 1 will give us 1, 0, and 1, 0 plus 0 will again give us 1, 0, so 0 we will have a sum and 1 as carry. Now, 1 plus 1 will again give us 1, 0, and 1, 0 plus 0 will give us 0 as sum and another 1 as carry. Now, observe. 1 plus 0 plus 0 will simply give us 1. Now consider the place value of a 4 bit number in 2's complement representation. If we place 1 underneath the most significant place, it is going to give us the value minus 8, which is incorrect in this case because 7 plus 1 should have given us positive 8, not negative 8. So in this case, although we haven't encountered any carry, but this value and the mode of operations is indicating that this is an overflow. Now let's observe the third scenario. Say we are using the pattern 1001, which is negative 7. And the other pattern is 0111, which is positive 7. Now let's perform the addition between these two. So 1 plus 1 will give us 0 as sum and 1 as carry. Then 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 will again give us 0 as sum and 1 as carry. Now this will also give us 0 as sum and 1 as carry. Now 1 plus 1 will give us 1 0 and 1 0 plus 0 will give us 1 0 once again. Now for this particular result, if we consider the 4 bit places place values into its complement form, observe, we are supposed to get 0, right? Because negative 7 and positive 7 should have resulted in 0. So this particular carry should have been discarded. So although we encountered the carry in here, it actually means nothing. Let's now move on to the scenario 4. Say we are using the pattern 0010. So this is actually 2. And let's take another pattern 0100, which is actually 4. Now let's perform the addition. So 0 plus 0 will give us 0. 1 plus 0 will give us 1. 0 plus 1 will again give us 1. And finally, 0 plus 0 will result in 0. Observe the positions of 1's. These are placed underneath 2 squared, that is 4, and 2 raised to the power 1, that is 2. So basically, it is giving us the value 6. And which is also correct because 2 plus 4 is supposed to give us 6 only. Now in this particular scenario, no overflow has occurred because the computer can easily accommodate this value in a 4-bit storage space. So basically, among all these scenarios, only these two are indicating overflows. But in these two cases, we are getting no overflow at all. So in 2's complement representation, overflow is indicated by two scenarios. The first one is, when two negative numbers are added and the obtained result seems to be positive. Like in this case, two negative numbers are added and looking at the result, we can think of this as a positive value, but it's not. It is supposed to be a negative result, right? Now coming to the second one, when two positive numbers are added and the obtained result is a negative one, just like this scenario. Two positive numbers are added, but the obtained result is a negative one. So this is how we indicate overflow in case of sign numbers specifically in 2's complement form. So in this session, we first acquired the understanding of overflow and thereafter we understood how to recognize overflow. Alright people, that will be all for this session. I hope the concept of overflow is clear to you now. In the next session, we will be introduced to binary codes. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.